Jeep Triumph Cherokee, a staple on North American roads ever since its debut in 1992. Since then, the Grand Cherokee has been titled the most awarded SUV ever. With Jeep's off-road capabilities, its rugged 4x4 capabilities and go-anywhere, do-anything attitude, combined with its luxury interior, it's no wonder why the Jeep Grand Cherokee dominates in this class. This year for 2021, we have the all-new redesigned model with new specs, new interior, all-new refresh outside, and importantly, a new third row in the back a first ever for Jeep Grand Cherokee. So today, let's dive in in this review and look at everything that we can find in this brand new model. Jeep has redefined what Grand Cherokee is in a segment. It's moving towards a more family oriented space with the induction of the third row, as we previously mentioned. Now, third row SUVs are nothing new, and actually the segment is really starting to heat up with all brands really getting into the segment. Jeep's craftsmanship and the redesign in this model certainly pushes it above its competition. With Jeep introducing the family-oriented third row, comfort now comes top of mind. No matter the terrain you are going over, all passengers will feel comfort in this new Grand Cherokee. This new Grand Cherokee introduces Jeep's new Quadralift air suspension with adaptive electronic dampening, which offers up to five different ride heights that you as a driver get to set. No matter if you're cruising down the highway, or hitting the back trails, you have the ability to alter the Grand Cherokee's ride height up to four inches. And maxed out, it will allow up to 10.9 inches of total ground clearance to get over any obstacle. This new suspension allows Grand Cherokee to force through water up to two feet deep without issues, a class leading in third row SUVs, proving that Jeep's off-road capabilities are still alive and true in this new model. Now, before I get into too many off-road capabilities of this vehicle and the driving dynamics, let's actually hop inside the cabin first to start off this video because the new interior is absolutely something you should see. So let's dive in and take a look first. So this new Grand Cherokee is the most technology-packed Grand Cherokee that has ever been. Starting out front, we have a 10-inch multi-touch display with Uconnect 5. From there, we have onslaught of new tech like night vision, drowsy driving detection, and rear seat camera monitor that allows us to display the third row. Another huge feature found in this new Grand Cherokee is called Active Drive Assist, which expands on adaptive cruise control and allows for hands-free driving on certain roads during long road trips. Another awesome feature that you find on the new Grand Cherokee this year on select trim levels is the premium 19-speaker sound system from Macintosh. Now, talking about the trim levels, there are multiple to cover with select trim levels getting certain features and others not. So let's dive into exactly what features you get on each trim level. In the base limited trim, you will find heated leather seating in the first and second row, Jeep's 4x4 Quadratrack 1 terrain system, a power lift gate and remote start. Moving up to the overland trim level with an MSRP of $68,995 Canadian, we'll find a Quadralift air suspension for a smoother ride that we mentioned earlier, Jeep's Quadratrack 2 terrain system, a trailer tow and hitch package, a 8.4 inch digital display with navigation and a trim up from there we have the summit with a starting price of 74,495 canadian offering 12-way power front seats with massage feature our 10.1 inch display a 360 degree surround camera monitoring system and the driver assist features we mentioned earlier topping out the trim level we have the summit reserve with the msrp of 79,490 dollars canadian adding that 19 speaker premium sound system, active noise cancellation as you drive, plus the 21 inch cast aluminum wheels. Standard across all the trim levels is the engine choice. Now you do have the option to upgrade to a larger engine if you like. So starting out, the Jeep Grand Cherokee comes standard with a 3.6 liter Pinnasar V6 made it to an eight speed automatic transmission, sending 290 horsepower and 257 foot pounds of torque to the wheels. However, the 5.8 liter Hemi V8 engine is an option with the overland trim level and up, providing 357 horsepower and 390 foot-pounds of torque. Both engine options allow best-in-class towing with up to 7,200 pounds with the V8 and 6,200 pounds with the V6. Now again, like the engine and underpinnings, depending on the trim level, you'll get a different array of fit and finishes inside the cabin. First up, the materials you'll find in here have a nice mix of plastic and leather, with some nice stitch work, but Jeep does a great job at placing the more plastically plastic 
out of your line of sight. All the touch points are this nice leather material, leaving for a super comfortable driving position no matter where you place your arm. All the soft points in here are made of super soft, nice touch material of leather or piano black plastic. Now the piano black plastic will catch some fingerprints, but it does look ever so good. The leather in here is a really high quality and the stitch work is absolutely gorgeous on our summer trim. We have this orange stitching with the black. It looks so nice. And on our summer trim here we have today, we have this wood carving all the way in the door panels and around our dash. It really ties into this nice luxury but outdoorsy Jeep vibe. I really like how they light up this cabin with the materials that they have. If we move through the seating of the Jeep Grand Cherokee, up front we will find heated seats which are standard across all trim levels. On some trim levels, they are also ventilated, which is awesome for the summer months. On this model here, they are super comfortable and well padded to hold you in place. And the cross stitching of the orange and the summit badging really ties in nice to the overall luxury feel that you have in this vehicle. The seats themselves have a good ray of motion so that you can dial in the perfect seating position for you. No matter if you're just going cruising around town, if you're going on a longer road trip or hitting the back country. The same quality materials that you feel in the front of the cabin can actually be found all the way back to the third row, which is awesome that Jeep has included that luxury experience all the way back throughout the whole cabin. Now before we talk about the back row, let's finish off with our sensor concert heel, all our button controls and features, and our steering wheel. So let's dive in. So again, we have a nice leather stitching all around the wheel, which can be heated on select trim levels. We find some steering wheel mounted controls, such as our entertainment controls, which can be found on the back. Our safety tech like cruise control can be found on the right. And on the left side of the steering wheel, we have all our media controls for our cell phone and to control the center dash itself. We also have our gear selection toggles on the left and right, left being downshift and right being the upshift. They are a little bit small to your fingers, but once you find the placement, they are in a great feeling position. The steering wheel itself feels so good in your hands with a nice touch leather and overall look that just screams premium class. With a nice little touch of gloss black and the matching wood trim that ties into the rest of your dash, it's a really nice steering wheel to have in your hands and control the vehicle with. When you look forward into the dash, we are met with either a traditional analog setup on certain trim levels, with a beautiful fit and finish and almost more luxury looking than typical Jeep's rugged look. On the higher trim levels, we have an option of a full 10 inch digital display that covers the length of the instrument cluster. Moving down from our 10 inch center display unit on the summit trim, underneath you will find our two USBs and two USB-Cs. Also, we'll find our wireless phone charger on select models with app wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. We'll also find our climate controls here with our entertainment controls for volume and tuning. All the buttons are really well placed and have a really solid click feature to them. The rotating knobs have no play in them and have a very nice resistance. Once again, I will say the interior in here, Jeep has proven that they can do off-roady with the Wranglers and everything else, but when they really want to get down to a premium luxury feel, they can certainly do it as well because the finishes and the touches in here and the buttons all scream luxury material and Jeep has really set the bar high for its competitors in its class. Moving down from the storage, we will find our shifter, which is now a rotating doll next to two toggle switches. The left toggle controls our drive modes, which we have five to pick from ranging from rock, sand and mud, snow, auto, and sport. The right toggle controls our quadrilift air suspension that we mentioned earlier, and we have five adjustment heights that we can select. Now, depending on what mode you select for your drive mode, it will also change the ride height of the vehicle. Now, up above our screen, we have additional features as well on select units. On this one, we have our hazard lights right in the middle. We have our automatic engine start stop that we can control on and off. We have our lane keep assist, traction control, parking sensors. Now with most of the specs out of the way for this Jeep Grand Cherokee in the front of the cabin, let's move to the back rows, including that third row now of this family oriented 2021 Jeep Grand Cherokee. All right, so here we are in the middle row of the Jeep Grand Cherokee, which is weird to say because now, like I said, we have that third row now in the Grand Cherokee, a first ever in this model. Now in the th second row, we have captain's chairs in the summit version. We also get a center console, which is super different on a third row SUV. I've never seen it on another third row SUV from any brand. Now we have a large cup holder area in the center console. We have a large storage area and we have our own glove box, which is awesome to have in the back row for storage. 
On the front of the seats, we have hard plastic so that you can get them scuffed up. You don't have to worry about ripping leather or anything like that. And we have a little cargo mesh area that you can store stuff as well. The door panels and the leather seating and the stitch work and everything back here in these seats are no different than the front of the cabin, which is, like I said, awesome that Jeep carried that whole quality up front throughout the whole cabin, giving you that premium feel no matter where you're sat inside this vehicle. Ahead of the captain's chairs, we do have our climate control plus our USB inputs. We have two normal USBs and two USB-C inputs and a full on 120 volt outlet. We also have, like I said, our climate controls. The other cool thing that Jeep has designed in the back of the whole cabin here is that yes, we have air vents here, but we also have them right here in the side of the frame. So they're not over top of your head shooting cold or hot air at your face, which is not really ideal when you're a backpacker, but you do have your own airflow that can point from both left and right, giving you a nice coverage of climate and you can control back here. Now again, these two captain seats are heated. The ones in the back are not heated, but these ones right here are. So if you're gonna be a rear pasture, you might wanna get the captain seats because you get your own ventilation that you can control, USBs, and you get your heated seats. Another great thing that Jeep has done to the Grand Cherokee, if you get the panoramic sunroof, as you can see, it stretches all the way back to this captain row, giving awesome lighting back here for your rear pastures. And they also get some airspace when you do open it. Another awesome thing that Jeep has fitted to show that this is more of a family oriented SUV is a feature that a lot of people don't think about they would like to have on a car, but when you do get it, it is a fantastic feature, especially if you have young children. And that feature is window shades. So you just lift it up, you hook it in right there, and it holds your window shade up. It's a great feature to have on this class of vehicle, especially if you have kids in the back who are a little sensitive to the sunlight. It's easy that it's built in. You don't have any of those stuck onto your window that may fall down. It's already built into your door pocket. That covers the middle back portion seating. Let's move all the way back to our third row right now. See what leg room we have, whatever uh, features we have back there. And it, most importantly, how do you get from here all the way to the back if this seat is in the way? And I will show you that in a second. All right, we're now back outside the Jeep Grand Cherokee to show you exactly how you get access to that important third row that Jeep has fitted. On most traditional brands, the seats usually fold forward slightly, but you have to squeeze yourself between the pillar and the seat itself. And being a child, you sometimes be able to do it, but as an adult, you almost can never fit. Jeep has noticed that and totally redesigned how you actually get into the back of the third row. So what we're gonna do, open up the door, which opens nice and wide for you, so you already have a nice access point to get into the vehicle. As I traditionally said, most brands let the seat slide forward like this, and you have a very small space to actually get into the back seats. Jeep, like I said, has reimagined that, and there's a toggle switch right here on both sides of the vehicle. On these seats, you pull it up, and then the whole seat, full forward, so now you have a much wider space to actually get yourself in as an adult, as a child, loading stuff in the back, it makes it way easier. Do got to note, there is a no step uh, body work down below. It is noted, but you can step right up on the body work here. And me being a six foot adult has no trouble getting in the back of this Jeep Grand Cherokee. All right, so here we are in the third row of this brand new Jeep Grand Cherokee. Now that's a weird thing to say because Grand Cherokee has never come with a th third row before, but in this 2021 model, here we are in the third row. I'm about a six foot adult. I can show you what the space back here is if you were to carry some pastures back here. As I mentioned, it's super easy to get in with that fold forward seat. And in saying that, the seat on the camera side is pulled forward right now so we get a better view. And the seat in front of me is technically pulled forward, but I will pull it back now to show you the space. Before I do that though, the quality of materials back here is no different than the front. Again, we have our nice leather with a cross stitching on the summer trim here. Awesome materials, really carries that luxury feel throughout the whole cabin, no matter if you're the driver, the middle pastures, or this back pasture, you feel the quality that Jeep has given you throughout the whole cabin. In saying that, each side of the pastures back here in the third row gets its own cup holder, which is hard to find on most other brands. We also have our own USB-C and USB for charging back here. And if you're counting with me guys, that's a total of 12 USBs throughout the whole cabin. So you should have no trouble charging electronics in this vehicle. Also in the third row, we get our own 
uh, ventilation that's in the frame once again so you get that nice feeling of air so you don't get super claustrophobic and too stuffy back here you got your own control now that is controlled by our two front passengers there so you don't get your own self-control unit but you, it's nice that you do get your own control you get your own vent back here now i'm going to pull the seat forward back towards me to show you the leg room that we have once again i'm a six foot individual once the seat's back, honestly, it's not that bad back here at all. I have about three inches of leg room here to play with and headroom, I got about an inch or so. So it's not super claustrophobic as you might think in a third row SUV of this size. It's actually quite comfortable and these seats are super comfortable. Honestly, not a bad spot to be. So not too bad on third row for Jeep's first attempt at a third row SUV. Also, when you're a third row pasture, sometimes it's hard to actually get out of the third row because usually the person ahead of you have to let you out. Now with Jeep's new design that we talked about earlier with sliding seats, you have access to that toggle. You just pull up as the third row pasture, push the seat forward, and once again, you got an easy access to get out of the vehicle. All right, now before we talk about the exterior features and the look of this Jeep Grand Cherokee, which we usually do at the beginning of this video, but I feel like the cabin was much more important to touch on first, let's finish off the interior with your actual trunk space. Now, everybody's worried when you get a third row SUV is what is the trunk space like if I have pastures in that very back where my trunk usually goes. I'm happy to say that the Jeep Grand Cherokee does a fantastic job of giving you some trunk space even when the seats are up and those seats can actually fold flat giving you even more cargo space if you don't have to carry those pastures. Now I have the key in my hand. We do have a power lift gate so you hit the key fob twice and the vehicle should open up. So with the power lift gate open here, you can see I have some of my camera equipment here already and we have a nice decent size of space. I would say you got about a foot and a half, two feet of actual uh, floor space to put stuff and you can stack it up. Include it back here, we do have a 12 volt input if you had to put any accessories back here and we have some lighting as well. Now, like I said, you do have the option to fold these seats flat and Jeep gives you the option of just simply holding a button and they electronically go down automatically. So you can do one side or you can do both sides if you like, which is an awesome feature to have. Now our cargo space is infinitely much better and also in the back which is not usually found on other uh, third row SUVs in other classes of brands you have the option to also fold the two middle seats as well just with a touch of a button from the back you don't have to go around open the door toggle any switches or anything like that it's all controlled from the back of the Jeep Grand Cherokee which is a fantastic fe feature to have when you're trying to load stuff in stuff like that you can control all the seating right here which is great you can also lift them up by holding the buttons again and they will all come up one by one awesome feature that Jeep has fitted to the back of this Grand Cherokee now if we look outside of the Jeep Grand Cherokee's redesign we can look at the body lines so the all-new Grand Cherokee has a more longer stance on the road than previous outgoing model the new model still has the recognizable horizontal slotted grille that defines the Jeep brand. On the sides of the grille, we'll find our LED headlights and daytime running lamps, which is all in one housing. Jeep didn't go with the new trend of splitting the running lights and the headlights into two separate pieces, and I kind of like it. It works on this Jeep Grand Cherokee's model. Also down below the housing and our grille, we'll find our LED fog lights on certain trim levels. Also in the center of the grille, we'll find our 360 camera monitor system, along with cameras allotted all around the vehicle which allows for the 360 backup camera and monitoring system for when you're off-road or just parking into a space. Overall the front is quite changed from the previous model. Personally I liked both. The older model gives off a more aggressive sporty look where this model brings a level of maturity but still a touch of modern roughness. Moving down the side we'll find a very clean and smooth body line with our flared out wheel arches to protect our rims. Now, once again, depending on the trim level, we have options in rim sizes ranging from 17 inch to 20 inch, all with different designs and finishes. However, all the trim levels do come with all season tires. Look at the side profile as well. You really get the feel of this new generation being more part of a traditional boxier SUV family. We do have the option to get either a color match roof 
and B pillars, or you can opt for a two cone color scheme, something only found on one other brand of third row SUVs. Moving to the back, we'll find these large but slim LED tail lights that wrap around the back corners of the vehicle, a real rear a rear slip spoiler, our badging, and our two exhaust cutouts, which unfortunately are just for looks as they actually have exhaust tips that are tucked behind the opening. Jeep has engineered the whole underpinnings of the Grand Cherokee to be tailored to ground clearance. So that means all the exhaust tubing, fuel lines, and brake lines are stored and rooted up around the frame of the vehicle so that you have no chance of causing damage. On top of that protection, some trim levels come with advanced off-road skid plates for added protection. Now overall, the exterior changes on this brand new Jeep Grand Cherokee is quite different from the outgoing model. Now, however, I think Jeep did a great job at taking one of its classics and converting it to a vehicle that many people will like, including the hardcore Jeep lover and people who are new to the brand. It totally redefines what a Jeep Grand Cherokee can be with that third row and the exterior features making it less of an aggressive looking sporty vehicle and more of an everyday driver with some sporty features as well. Now before we get behind the wheel for a couple driving remarks, I have to say this. This is a brand new unit on our lot, which is for sale currently. So although I touched on the off-road performance of this model and Jeep's history of being a proven off-road machine, I will not be testing that so much here today. But trust me, if you want to see this thing carving up the off-road trails, I'm sure there are many other videos or videos coming out very soon about that. Now with that out of the way, let's hop in and take it for a drive on some tarmac and see how well the new Grand Cherokee performs as an everyday SUV. So here we are behind the wheel of the brand new 2021 Jeep Grand Cherokee. And guys, what a refinement Jeep has been able to do with the Grand Cherokee. Previous models always had a nice, comfortable drive, but this one takes it a step above with that air ride suspension that we can control here. Right now I'm in auto mode. Um, the car will detect if I go off road and change the ride height, change the characteristics of the vehicle. But in auto right now, we are at the second ride height level to allow us to absorb those bumps nicely. It is such a comfortable ride and guys, it is so quiet in here, so quiet. The, the quietness of the ride matched with the comfort of the suspension really makes for an enjoyable ride as a driver, pasture, and even the rear pastures. It is a beautiful ride in this vehicle. Now in saying that, on the top trim, you do get an extra level of comfort with that no active noise cancellation. So what that does is as you're driving down the road, there are microphones inside the cabin that will detect the road noise and actually send a opposite, ang uh, opposite feedback through the speaker system, canceling out that road noise. So making it even more enjoyable and quiet inside the cabin, which is fantastic if you're going on low, long road trips or have small children in the back that get upset with the loud noise. In saying that, the engine itself is super powerful. No matter what engine option you pick, it gets up and goes, no problem. And it does it very quietly on a steady band. Almost, to be honest guys, if you're driving this vehicle, you don't realize how much speed you've actually picked up because you can't hear the engine and it rides so smooth. And you look down at your digital dash and you're like, wow, I'm actually going a little bit faster than I actually thought and you slow down. That's how comfortable and smooth this ride is in this new Grand Cherokee. It is incredible what Jeep has been able to pull out of refinement. And it's even crazier to think that you can adjust the ride height and put this through two feet of water without issue. And it goes rugged off road as Jeep's nature is. It is an incredible machine guys that Jeep has been able to put together for this 2021 model refresh. And it's not even a refresh, it is a completely new model in my opinion it is fantastic exterior interior driving position driving feel guys i think jeep has really hit it out of the park um, for closing remarks on this vehicle guys i have to say through jeep's heritage and jeep's product line they haven't really given us a major update on most of their products for quite some time i can't even say this is a model refresh because guys this is a whole new model so it feels the previous generation was always a great vehicle as well, but this really pushes the bar at what Jeep is capable of doing for this segment. I mean, it is a fantastic vehicle. You should definitely come in, try it behind the wheel yourself and get a feeling what the new Grand Cherokee feels like and what Jeep is really pushing as it goes forward into the new, new uh, generation here. Um, for closing remark guys, Jeep has really paid heritage to the off-road brand and I'm excited to see them pull themselves towards more of a 
tarmac friendly, modern luxury interior brand, while keeping to the heritage roots of what Jeep is all about, the off-road adventure, finding your own path. It does this fantastically with this new model, really showing what Jeep as a brand can pull together as an engineering company to give you that off-road capability and the refinement that you find inside. All right, guys, to close out this review, I am Devon from the Hickman Automotive Group in behind the wheel of this 2021 Jeep Grand Cherokee. Totally all new from the inside and out. Fantastic vehicle. If you're in the market for a three row SUV, the Jeep Grand Cherokee should be on your list. Get behind the wheel of this vehicle. Ride as a, as a passenger, get in the third row seating to check it out. Check it all of it out because it is from everywhere you look and feel and touch, it is a great vehicle. So once again, guys, I'm Devin. Hit that subscribe button if you wanna see more review videos. Hit the like button if you like the new redesign of the Jeep Grand Cherokee. Until next time, have a good one.